What is up everybody? Welcome once again to another Elden Ring video. I hope you guys are enjoying our content here on the channel. Today we're going to be talking about what are the best beginner classes. Now I do have a video going over what are the best classes in general, but just because that class is the best doesn't mean it's the best for people who are new to the game. Remember, Elden Ring will have a lot of new players due to the fact that there are a lot of fans coming in from the Dark Souls series who maybe are not too acquainted with the new mechanics Plus, we are going to be getting a ton of brand new players who have never played a Dark Souls game. That's why this video is extremely important. And seeing all the reviews that this game has gotten, everybody's shouting, Game of the Year! Game of the Year! So you're going to have a ton of people playing this game like nothing. So I wanted to make this video to address all the newcomers. And if you're a beginner, let me know in the comments section down below if you were planning to play a specific class and if this video changes your mind. With that being said guys, a like would be greatly appreciated. It does help us out with the algorithm. Now let's jump on in and talk about the best beginner class that we have. Now as you might know guys, one of the most difficult decisions you'll be making in the game is deciding what class you pick. Because usually what happens is when you pick a class, you can spend so much time and energy in that class that when it comes to finding a different class, you're like, oh man, I don't know if I want to go ahead and start the grind all over again. But that's what you have me for, guys. So the best overall class for any player that's coming into the game and is going to be a brand new beginner, it's going to be the Vagabond class. I'm going to explain why the Vagabond is the best class for beginners. Now, you guys may already know, the game will allow you to add points to specific attributes or stats. And you want to know a little bit more about stats, I have a video on my channel going over the stats so you guys can get a better grasp on the stats, but every character will have that ability. Now the Vagabond, what makes him great for beginners is the fact that he starts with really good fortitude and ability at close range. This is going to be extremely important because one thing you're going to find in the game is that not only are you going to want to make sure you're surviving, but you also want to make sure that you are keeping your distance because you want to avoid dying. Even though you will be dying because that's the whole gist of the game, the thing is you want to make sure you stay alive longer. Now the Vagabond has a very cool feature. The feature is that he will be able to equip heavy armor which will allow them to take even more damage when they're playing. So there's going to be kind of like a little cheat or a little exploit that you're going to have as using as playing as a Vagabond that you are going to be one of those characters that you're going to be able to absorb more damage because you're going to be allowed to pick up that heavy armor. So since you're going to be new to the game, I'm guessing the majority of you guys will probably be making a couple more mistakes than others. So this will give you guys a little wiggle room to have those mistakes not cost you insta-death. Now another really good feature about the Vagabond is that he will come with a sword, with a straight sword and a shield which will allow him to be able to not only ditch out damage but also parry. There are some characters and classes in the game that do not come with shields and some come with shields that are smaller than others, so that means that that parry is going to have to be timed perfectly. Having a big shield and a big sword will give you the ability to parry and also keep your distance when fighting different enemies. Now one of the cool features that I love about the Vagabond is the fact that he starts off with some really good stats. He starts off with high strength. Remember, high strength gives you the ability to pair good strength weapons, increasing the strength value of that specific weapon. Once again, watch my stat videos to understand that just a little bit more. He starts off with really good vigor and really good dexterity. That means you're gonna be very mobile when you're using this character, so you're not gonna be too much hindered to kind of being very slow. Now, what is the advantage of this? Well, this is gonna allow you guys to decide what type of game style you want because when you're new to the game, you really don't know if you want to use a two-handed weapon, if you want to use a dual-wielding weapon, how do you want to play? So this gives you the advantage of deciding, okay, well, you know what? I feel like I want to be a really badass and have a two-wielded weapon like this big hammer. Okay, well, let me invest a little bit more of my stats into strength. Or if you want to be more mobile, then you're going to be like, well, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't spend a little bit more points into dexterity and play along that way. So like, the flexibility of the Vagabond is different than any other character, which makes him a great beginner character. Now, I do want to point something out, and this is going to be a little bit of warning for those of you who might want to be trying magic and all that stuff. It does with two things that magic are very important, which are its intelligence and fates. So if you're looking to use magic, you will need to actually start off with the Vagabond, but make sure that all your attribute points go into intelligence and faith 
because it's those points are not going to be there at the beginning when you start the character. Even though you might not have like the whole high, you know, intelligence and faith, you still will be able to use some basic spells, but it's not going to be ideal for players who are wanting to use incantations and sorceries as their main attacks. Now, alternatively, I'm going to give you guys two more characters within the melee class that might be an alternative option for you guys because, you know, you might not fall in love with the Vagabond. So that's going to be, guys, the Samurai class. Now, the Samurai class is definitely going to be one of everybody's favorite just because of the way it works and the way the things you're able to do. It's going to allow the player to be a threat both at close range and mid range and also far range combat because it's the only character that kind of comes with a sword or a katana in this case, and a bow as well. It's a class that focuses primarily in dexterity, which is gonna means that you're going to be a very mobile player and it will allow you to use your weapons very quickly and should suit players who like to be fast and attack as quickly as they possibly can. The other class I want to mention real quick is the warrior class. This is another well-rounded class that will allow players to learn the ropes of combat. It can deal high amounts of melee damage, which a lot of people are going to enjoy if you do like that whole melee aspect, but it's going to suffer a little bit when it comes to defense. That's why I don't put it too much high as a beginner class because it is a little bit squishy. Thankfully, this class will allow players to be quick on their feet to avoid being damaged because it comes with really good dexterity stats, not as high as a samurai, but still viable for that particular option. All right, so now the best starter class for sorcery. Now, remember, sorcery is very different than incantations. You want to make sure you separate the two, okay? So this is going to be primarily for sorcery. So the first class for sorcery, guys, is going to be the astrologer. This class is great for anybody who's looking to bring chaos to their enemies with celestial spells and have a fighting chance at very close range. From the start, you will be able to equip the falling, which is a staff, for casting sorceries, and you'll also have a small sword to defend yourself in case people get close. This will ensure that whether you're a new player or an experienced player, you'll be able to have a fighting chance whether you accidentally run out of focus points. Now you're probably wondering, Laser, what the heck is focus points? Don't worry guys, I have you guys completely covered. I am gonna have a straight out video just on focus points on how to get them and how to use them. Now the cool thing about this specific class is that you'll start off with high intelligence and mind stats. This will help you cast sorceries right off the beginning and there are plenty of different sorceries that will become available you to you once you progress more into the game. So it makes it a very good character to start off with if you want to do magic. Now let's talk about incantations. Incantations are completely different, uh, just a tad bit. These are very powerful spells. And these, the best class for this, guys, if you want to start off with this one, it's going to be the Prophet. Now the Prophet is going to be the one that you want to use if you want to have incantations in your playthrough. Because the Prophet class is great for players who are looking to be an overall force when it comes to playing with allies. Now, this is coming from Form Software, has made sure that players playing Elden Ring will be able to access multiplayer options more easily, which makes it great news for anybody who decides to be a Prophet player because they are going to specialize on healing spells. Now, right from the start, the player will be able to equip a Sacred Seal to cast incantations and a spear. You'll start with high faith and high mind stats, which means you'll be able to cast great healing spells and also heal yourself, so be a very well-supported character. Now, even though, guys, these are the best class for beginners, I want to give you my top two. Number one, guys, if you want to do the whole melee combat, want to be up close and fight, Vagabond is the way to go. If you want to do sorcery and magic, I'm going to have to go with the astrologer here. He's going to be the one that's going to be a little bit more reliable and the one I suggest you pick up. I wanted to give you a couple more variables and a couple more options just to make sure that you guys have make the correct choice. I do hope you guys are enjoying our album coverage. If you are, do me a huge favor, guys. Drop a comment, drop a like, but most importantly, subscribe to the channel, turn on all those notifications so you won't miss when our videos go live. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.